the louder they get, the quieter I get. In reverse, some people yell and shout, right? I, uh, I have a very simple thing, you know, clap once if you can hear me, clap twice if you can see me. And then I know that I've got their attention. I might say, uh, and again, put your hands on your head if you're looking, right? So now they might mimic me, but I'm trying to catch them out as well. Yeah. Um, and then I might even say clap three times if you're being rude. And then we'll have a little giggle about it, you know. So I try and use positive uh, discipline. So, for example, if there's a child that's got his shirt tucked in or her shirt tucked in and they have their foot on the ball and soccer ready, I might turn around and say, Brayden, thank you so much for having your shirt tucked in and being in soccer ready. And invariably, if there's children who are sitting down, they may stand up right away because children want to please. Um, sure. And I've also, you know, probably about 10, 12 years ago, tried to eliminate, eliminate the word don't from my coaching vocabulary. And when I first did this, children who caught me saying don't were allowed to shout, coach, don't say don't. Do you know what I mean? So what we what that's made me do is think about language in a different way and promote the behaviors we want as opposed to what we don't want. 